Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. Danielle K. Howell here. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so I can grow this channel and hit that like button if you like this video or if you like the content and click that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, so let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is all about love, which love is patient. So when you think about patience, I think about my children. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Especially when they were growing up. And even now, one of them is a teenager and she tries my patience. Well, they're both teenagers, but my youngest one, she tries my patience a lot. But my thing is this. What about patience with yourself? This is, you know, we're in this season where we need to start thinking about ourselves. It's not selfish to think about yourself. It's not selfish to put yourself first. That divine energy, that feminine energy, that's the season that we're in right now. All about self-love. Because when we love ourselves, we can give these things to ourselves. then it's easier to give it to other people. You can't give what you don't have. Let me repeat that. You can't give what you don't have. So if you don't have patience with yourself, if you criticize yourself, if you overwhelm yourself with too many tasks, if you uh, put yourself down, if you beat yourself up, if you don't take care of yourself, then that means you're not being patient with who you are. You're not being in touch with your feminine being your soul, your spirit, this body that we have. You have to learn to be patient with yourself because when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, we're on this journey. We're living this experience called life. And it's a journey. It's an experience. It's all a learning process so that we can evolve, so that we can transform and if we're not patient with ourselves and we're just rushing through life and we're like, oh, I got to go. I remember when my children were much younger and I was working and one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to be a stay at home mom, but I wasn't at that time. So, you know, I had this, 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 uh, I was teaching, I was, a, I was in the schools. I was a, a teacher's assistant actually. And I had to be there at eight o'clock and my children had to be to school by eight o'clock as well. So my mornings used to be so chaotic. Like I used to literally grab my cup of coffee. I'm yelling at my kids. You know, I didn't want to be late. I'm dropping this one off. I'm, you know, it, it was just so stressful, stressful. My mornings used to be so stressful every morning and I had no patience. I had no patience for my children. I had no patience for myself. And in, in, in the interim between all of that, having no patience, it seemed like everything was always going wrong. Either one of my children was late or I was late or something would happen. You know, there was traffic. It was like, it was never a good morning environment and until I started to slow down. I had to realize what I was doing and I had to say, you know what? There's no need rushing. There's no need, you know, waking up my children at the last. I had to change my whole routine. Wake up earlier, get my kids up a little earlier. So just in case things happen, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't something that threw such a monkey wrench in my schedule. And I had to be patient. I had to learn how to be patient with my children so that they wasn't going to school stressed out. I had to be patient with myself so that I wasn't going to work stressed out. I'm thankful those days are long gone. My children are much older. You know, I don't have to rush out to go to work anymore. I mean, I still have a job, but I don't have to work early. I make my own hours pretty much, which is great. But I've learned how to be patient with myself over time after going through all these experiences and just seeing how it affected my day, how it affected my health, how it affected my mental state. I had to learn how to slow down. I had to learn how to be patient with myself. And in that interim, in that process, I learned how to be patient with other people. So how can you be patient with yourself? Put yourself first. Put yourself first, right? I made a video about that. 
you have to learn how to put yourself first. Actually, it was a video about love yourself. But you have to learn how to put yourself first. You come before anything and everything else in your environment. You know, when you're in an airplane and they say, you know, when they tell you about when you're about to take off and they say, if you have any young children with you, put your oxygen mask on first so that you can then help, you know, the the person that you're with, your child or whatever, to put on air oxygen. You have to help yourself first. So being patient with yourself, meaning means to learn how to slow down, start meditating, start praying, start just enjoying what's around you, enjoying the nature, start enjoying your life experiences. Like, don't just think that you're rushing through life. Like, why are you rushing? You're rushing to die or are you here to experience. We're here to experience. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. We're here to evolve. We're here to transform. And guess what? All of that takes time. So you have to be patient. You have to be patient with yourself. That's why the Bible says love is patient. That's a form of love. That's a form of love of self. When you can be patient through your process, your living experience, your growth as you age, as you go through this lifetime. Be patient. Journal. Take notes about what you've gone through. Write it down. Reflect so that you can turn all of your experiences into even better experiences. The good ones you turn them into better ones. The bad ones, you turn them into better ones. But it's all about patience. You have to learn how to slow down everything. Because when you slow down and smell the roses, you'll see how patient nature really is. You'll see how patient everything, except for this, we live in this fast paced world now. Everything, everybody wants microwave results. But when you can step outside of that and just be still and be present, oh man, it's powerful. So I encourage you to try that. Try being patient. The next time you're waiting, maybe at the doctor's office, you don't have to look on your phone, scrolling through. Just sit there and be present. Just sit there and be patient and just wait. Observe the stillness that's around you because it's a beautiful blessing. All right, my friends, I hope this video was inspiring for you. If it was, please, again, subscribe to this channel. Hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and hit the notification bell for the next time I upload a video. I love you guys. Until the next time, peace, love, and blessings.